Hi. Today in our workshop, we've got the AMB Aero Mitsubishi Eclipse, another world time attack car powered by the Haltech Elite Series ECU. Andrew Brilliant from AMB is using an Elite Series ECU to control the fuel and ignition on this engine, as well as the power management to ensure the driver has the right amount of power under all conditions. This includes aero load, throttle position and steering angle, as well as delivering different power levels depending on the car's position on the leaderboard. To manage the power level, there are three typical strategies. Fueling corrections, ignition corrections and boost corrections. We use 4D mapping for each of these requirements, resulting in a completely different fuel, ignition, and boost target table, depending on which gear the car is in. This allows very fine power adjustments to each gear to make the most of the aero package the car has. To allow the driver to fine tune the power delivery system on race day, we also use two 10 position trim knobs. One to adjust the power level in third gear, the other to adjust the power level in fourth gear. The car is fitted with a huge range of sensors, which are being used for engine protection, tuning and data acquisition. The engine protection ensures that if a sensor goes out of range, the driver is notified. And if the problem is severe, the engine hits a soft cut rev limiter and the car can be limped into the pits for diagnostics. Because there are different sensors with different important levels, we've added a tiered protection system. This allows you to set different limit types depending on the importance of the values being monitored. For example, if a critical sensor, like the oil pressure sensor, goes out of range, we run the risk of damaging the engine. So the Elite ECU will shut the engine down and throw a diagnostic trouble code. An example of a medium severity engine protection limit is the coolant temperature. If the coolant temperature goes higher than the preset range, the driver may decide to drive on depending on his position in the field. However, we do set up the rev limiter to be reduced uh, the Elite ECU will also richen up the fuel mixtures and throw a diagnostic trouble code. An example of a low severity warning would be something like the fuel level. When the fuel level gets too low, a warning light on the dash will turn on, but there'll be no engine limiter because there's no potential damage to the engine with this sensor. Basically what we want to do is warn the driver that the fuel level is getting low so that they can come in and refuel. It's user-definable functions like these that make the Haltech Elite Series ECU the perfect choice for all forms of motorsport. My name's Scott, and you have been watching Haltech Technically Speaking. As always, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe in the fields below.